Good morning and welcome to another vlog. We are still on our little kind of summer holidays. We have just spent the last half a week in Bath. There was a video all about our time in Bath. If you want to watch that, I'll put it up there. We have moved back up a little bit further north to, we're kind of near, I'm not really that sure where we are, kind of near Telford. The main reason for being here is um, well, it was partly I was like to break up the journey home from down south. With having the two little ones in the car, I was like to break up that journey home. And then when we were talking about what we were gonna do on this like week away, Stephen wanted to go to the RAF museum in Cos Cosford. I think it is. I think there's one in London and there's one in Cosford. And so we thought, hey, let's just stay around there for a few days. So we're staying here for a few days. We're going to the RAF Museum today, actually. We're staying in a wonderful Airbnb apartment. It's really nice. We arrived yesterday, like late afternoon. Um, I will put my link down below to Airbnb. If you've not already signed up, you can get, I'm not sure if it's 25 or 35 pounds off your first stay. That link is down below. If you want to sign up for Airbnb, get yourself a little staycation booked before we go back into lockdown. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the next few days. We've no real plans other than this RAF museum that Stephen wanted to do today. And we'll just we'll just see what's around later on. We'll just have a little look what is around and we'll find stuff to do for the next couple of days. The museum was really well set out with a one-way system, like lots of places at the moment, and there was plenty of space for everyone. Follow all the designated flight paths. Keep your squadron information at all times. Avoid other squadrons' airspace at all times. And listen to the ground crew. Whoa, look at these planes. Parts of the museum were outside and the rest of it was in big airplane hangars. So it all did feel very, very open. And most of the time, social distancing was working. There was one moment, however, when we went into this big pod thing to watch a video. It was clearly labelled outside that only one household at a time should be in there. So we stood outside, patiently waiting for the previous household to finish watching their little thing. And then we went inside, and then about a minute into us being in there and watching this short film, a group of like four adults came in and like stood right next to us, idiots. After the museum, we sat on the grass just outside and ate our picnic. We then found a play area and field where the kids could have a sleep and we could have a relax in the sun. Oh, you're hungry. Oh. That evening we ordered takeout dessert and it was oh, so good. It is the next morning, it is nice and early, about 8 o'clock and me, Lara and the kids have come out to the wrecking which is a big hill walk thing that we're coming to do. This morning we've left Stephen back at the hotel, asleep, uh, back at the apartment I should say, asleep. Um, yeah, he's having a bit of a lie-in this morning. The weather today is not wonderful to be honest, it's a bit cloudy and I just as we were driving along I was like, I'm mm, not sure the way we should be climbing up this hill but it's pretty busy there's lots of people around so we're gonna see if we start getting up and it's not too good visibility and stuff we'll head back down but I'm gonna try it a kid on the back on our back on a kid on each back see how we go I'm gonna walk up a big hill
the views, <laughs> yes, the, <laughs> the views are completely non-existent. I can't hardly see a tree that's about <laughs> 10 metres in front of me. So what I think I can see in the distance, well it's not that far in the distance, is the top. Reach the top. It's all downhill from here. Well, this is about a time where I my enjoyment of something is as much as yours in terms of views. <laughs> back home for a bit. Stephen's up. Aww. Did you have a nice relaxing morning? Was it nice? <laughs> After a quick pack up and sorting out picnic lunch, we are heading back out. The weather is actually getting much nicer now. Hopefully, we're going to have a bit of sun. We're heading over to Granville Country Park. Don't really know what it is. What's there? We're going. Welcome to Granville Local Nature Reserve. Look at what we've got to do. You'll see in a minute, Lara. A mountain and mountain of steps. Before we're doing our walk, we just had a picnic. I've just been back down to the car to drop the picnic bag and everything off. And before we continue the walk, it's like kids' sleep time. And oh my goodness, our little thing that we've been doing on this trip is like having a picnic in the park, wherever we are. And then I bought these like tents, like sun tent things. I like use them on the beach, whatever, for kids. And I bought them one each and they've been having like a little sleep in there in the park and it's been it's worked perfect. It's meant that like we didn't have to go back home or whatever so for them to have a sleep and that we could like enjoy the peace whilst they were asleep. So it's been good. I think we're just gonna have a little relax for an hour or so whilst the kids have a sleep in their little tent. We can lie in the sun and then we can continue with this country walk thing, country park walk that we're doing. It's lovely now. Oh, she's is. I want you to coat my oil. I think that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> is it funny? funny? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, what's going there? Stephen. <laughs> what's he doing? You're going fast. <laughs> she's smiling at it. <laughs> Oh yeah, look, Wonderland. Is it all inside Wonderland, maybe? Yeah. Did he go down? 